Coming down the stairs, coming back her yellow hair. And I ain't gonna be treated this way. So way. Hello, my friends. Uh, why are we echoing? Okay. This is not working for me. There we go. Okay. It seems like every week I come on, my audio is always twisted up. Well, hello, folks. It is August 3rd, 2013. This is Gratefully Dedicated Vaping with me, your host, Junkie Rock 13. My real name is Ross Sanders. Um, and I'm here bringing you a live show in my little vape layer <clears throat> here in upstate New York. So this week has not been a exciting week. Or not, let me rephrase that. It hasn't been a week for a lot of vape mail, but the vape mail I did get was pretty exciting. That's what I wanted to say. Um, first off, I did get my eye box from uh, Nick over at iBox and there was a tiny issue with it that I needed him to fix. It wasn't nothing that he did wrong, but I wanted him to fix something and I didn't want to take it apart to do it because I didn't want to be responsible if anything else happened. Or if anything happened to it when I, while it was done. So I sent it back to him and he's going to send it back to me. But I'm telling you, the thing looks sick. It's insane. Um, I finally had a chance to send <laughs> my smoke groove back <laughs> to um, electronic sticks. Um... I took forever to send it back, but I got it back to them. So they got my groove back, and uh, they refunded my account, so I'm happy about that. I was going to pick up a, an immortalizer, but actually right now I've been spending so much money on devices, I'm going to chill for like a couple weeks just to bounce back. Um, I got my son going to school, and school supplies for him and my daughter I, I need to slow down on spending <clears throat> yes junkie sent his groove back I didn't get my groove back I sent it back yep that's a good one I should have named this show junkie sent his groove back <laughs> all right so I did get a few things in vape mail but I wanted to um, talk a little bit about the reason why I had the Jerry Garcia picture up in the beginning 
Jerry Garcia's birthday was on August 1st, um, two days ago. Um, I know a lot of people are not deadheads, but I am. And I put up a little Jerry Garcia happy birthday for him. What's the matter, bud? I'm on my show. You want to say hi to everybody? Do you want to say hi to everybody? Why are you crying? You okay? Come here. You can say hi to everybody. Come here. Come pizza. You want to go get pizza? No. Okay. Well, why don't you go out there until my show is done and then I'll come out there. Okay, buddy? Because I want to go eat cheese. Okay. Okay. Yogurt. I just want pizza. Okay. All right, buddy. Because well, I can't eat. Mommy said I can't eat after 8 o'clock. That's right. You're not supposed to eat it after 8 o'clock, buddy. Okay. Why don't you go out there? Give me a hug and a kiss. But no, I can't eat nothing. Bud, come here. Because it's past 8 o'clock. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come around here on the side. Excuse me for one second, folks. <laughs> come here. Don't cry, okay? Give me a hug. Stop, 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 stop. Give me a hug. No, buddy, we're not playing. Come on. Give me a hug. I love you. I was hugging the chair like this. Yeah. Hugging you in the chair. Okay, give me a kiss. Okay. Go out there. After my show, I'll come sit with you, okay? Daddy. What? Hi. After when you're done, can me, me and you will get pizza. Come get your grilled cheese sandwich, Rossi. Yeah. We can. Okay. Go ahead. I love you. Okay, folks. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's been a cranky, cranky character. Um, all right. And now I forgot what I was totally talking about. Um, oh, Jerry Garcia birthday was on August first. Um, he did pass away back in 1995 on. August 9th so I put a little celebration picture up at the beginning of the show so <clears throat> I got a few things this week for vape mail I did get my GG to K fun accessory adapter kit I have it in here on my Terminator C um, and this is a very um a very thank you Vic <laughs> um a nice accessory my opinion to anybody that owns a Terminator C um and the Terminator C is not a bad device don't get me wrong but with the K fun kit the, it, they're calling it the GD to K Fun or Nautilus to K Fun kit. This thing hits insane. It really does. Um, it, it just it hits nice. I think the coil on here is a 1.1, 1 1.2, um, so it's not horribly really low congratulations Vic you're getting a bag of coming he messaged me over on Facebook for the bag and that's awesome um I had a bad experience with the bag of, but that was only in the beginning I, their um emblem rubbed off right in the beginning but the new ones are really nice and engraved nice um, I did get, I had one of these and mine broke a long time ago. Uh, I picked this up last week from RTD Vapor, the Ohm Reader. Mine broke, it, it was a, a while ago, and I never ended up picking up another one, so I picked up one of these. <clears throat> And I, I've, I've missed having it, and I'm glad it came in. And then I got in the hybrid mod, the Elite. 
which is right here. And folks, um, I don't know if you are considering picking one of these up or if you have already picked one of these up. Um, I got the Ohm Reader at RTD Vaping. Or RTD Vapor. Here, I'll find the link for you. I think they still have them in stock. They had them in stock for a while. Oh, they're out of stock now. I'm I'm sorry. Oh. And then I heard Mad Vapes had them in stock too this past week. Um. Um. So Johnny Master Mix, did you you got your Elite? What do you think about it? SP Dive Master, how we doing, my friend? Johnny Master Mix, I'm gonna be honest about this device. This is the Elite Hybrid. Very good. Um, I did wish Jerry a happy birthday, uh, SP Dive Master. Come on. focus I need to turn on my light that's what I need to do all right that'll help all right so let me talk a little bit <laughs> um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this device now I seen a couple reviews on this device already and as my viewers know, I do not get a device the same day and do a video review like all these other reviewers do. Um, I vape on it a little while and I try to give an educated opinion and my really true opinion on vaping on it for a couple weeks. Uh, I can't give you a review if I just received it at 2 o'clock and I put on a video at 6 o'clock. That's not a review. That's a close-up. That's a first impressions. It's not a video. Or it's not a review. But I'm going to say one thing about this device. It's $45 at most vendors. And there's a reason why it's $45. In my opinion, my initial opinion on this device, it is a piece of shit. I'm sorry. Um, it's $45 for a reason. It really is. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Jerry Mixmaster. Um, yes, it is aluminum. That doesn't make it a piece of shit, though. Um... I think I can fix it though to make it a a better piece of shit. <laughs> but for one thing, it's it's the noble. And here's my noble right here. I didn't even clean it out. I wanted to clean it out for the show tonight. Um, but here's the noble right here. And I'm gonna take this ridiculously fucking ugly drip tip out of here first off. Okay. And and I'm sorry if you like this device. I am I'm sorry. Um, and, and if it works for you, that's great. That is awesome. But it is the Noble. All it is, is the Noble with an 18650 extension. Okay. I mean, so it is a clone. Um, so let me just show you the 18350 mode right next to each other. Okay, and what we're going to do for this little 
side by side is I'm going to actually take off this little sleeve and show you that it is exactly the Noble. Okay, so there are the two devices side by side and they're the same exact thing. So I heard a few people talking about this device and saying that they did a lot of uh, um, research and designing into this device. They didn't do shit in designing this. They bought a Noble and they copied it. That's the only thing they did. And they did a bad job copying it, I might add. Um, I'm not going to do a full-on review. You can wait for my video. But the one thing I do like is the finish on this is really nice. It's nice anodized silver. Um, the Noble is just like a raw aluminum. But, you know, the, the, the Noble is, I think you pick them up for like $150 now. And this is $45. Now, they have a locking mechanism on the bottom why i don't understand why okay um maybe for pocket friendly okay i understand that but with this little like groove right here you can set it down and it's not gonna fire just like this it has like the same groove maybe a little bit different angle but then they have a little knurled ring inside that's ridiculously hard to get to okay so it's right there and it's kind of ridiculous where they put it i don't know I, I don't like the design aesthetically i don't like the design and then inside they tried to copy the noble uh, as well look at the noble top fucking is really nice and tight on there it stays on there nice the Elite, it comes off really easy. It really does. All right. Then the Noble, like I said, my Noble's dirty. I haven't cleaned it out. I need to rinse it out. It's got some uh, juice in here that I want to clean out. Okay. You can see where the fill holes are. They're both recessed. To take your bottle of juice... Let me just grab a bottle of juice here. To take your bottle of juice, and it actually fits in that little recessed place to fill up the, the juice. Well, on the Elite, it's really small. It's like one millimeter. Over here on the Noble, it's like two millimeters which allows you to squirt your juice in. Over here, you try to squirt it in and it starts to fill up the, the, the platform. It doesn't have a lot of air movement, so I'm gonna have to drill out this air hole or this fill hole. Um, then, on top of it all, I wanna, I, I really want you guys to see this. Do you see how far that negative is away from the wick? Okay, so there's the wick over there. You see it? Do you see how far it is away from the wick? It's like three millimeters away from it. Maybe four millimeters. It's way, way too far. Yes, and, 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 that's, and that's right, and I can, what I can do is I can make the wick hole bigger, and I will be closer to the negative screw. Also, I bent the wick to go over to the positive, and it's still pretty far away, okay? Like, the wick is like three to four millimeters away from the positive post, okay? So uh, what I'm going to have to do is re-drill out the wick hole. And I'm going to make the wick hole probably three millimeters. 
and try to make it a little bit closer to the negative and closer to the positive. And yes, I can put a washer. I, I can, and I, I can, and I can fix it. And, and it's not a problem. I'm not saying that because there's a lot of devices that still need a little modifications to my liking. And I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. Um, but the way this is set up, it is set up for a an entry level hybrid. A lot of entry level hybrid people don't want to screw around with a drill press and take a chance of screwing it up because there is a chance of screwing too close to the, um, the negative and, and screwing it to the Delrin and and that's okay. I mean, we've had the DID clone, we've had the AGA, and we all had to modify them a little bit, sand down the top so the air hole lines up, re-drill out the air hole because it was too small. And the air hole on this also is one millimeter, which I kind of like, and I'm not, I would never complain about too small of an air hole. If it is too small, that gives you the chance to make it bigger, which is great. I hate when people put a 1.8 millimeter air hole in it and I like vaping off of the 1.3 so that's fine I like having a small air hole the issue I'm having with this is there are reviewers out there saying that this is the hybrid to pick up okay in my opinion, I'm not going to bash nobody, uh, no other reviewers, but in my opinion, it's not. Uh, I would say wait for the iHybrid uh, Pure. I would say um, if you can get your hands on it, pick it up. Um, Johnny Master Mix, I, I didn't see what you think about this device. I I'm sorry I'm going on and on, but what do you think about it, Johnny? <clears throat> Okay, so, you know, and, and please don't, like I said, and I always tell this to everybody, do not take my opinion and run with it. Okay, Junkie said, it's a piece of shit, I'm not going to buy it. Because if I drill out this wick hole, this device might vape better than any hybrid I have over here. Better than my... Um, Zenesis, better than my iHybrid, better than my Orion and my, you know, my Juggernaut, and better than my Noble. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying for $45, pick one up. It's not that expensive. And, you know, see if you can modify it to where you like it. I do not like this drip tip. Um, it kind of looks ridiculous on it. In my opinion I don't know it's not my style but some people might like it um, the little uh, window I guess it's all right it kind of protects the, the plastic I, I don't know why they put plastic on it if they were gonna go with a nice design they should have put glass on it the, the problem why I don't, the one thing that I'm finding with this sleeve, the sleeve, when you're, when you're vaping and you're tipping and, le, uh, and standing straight up, tipping and leaning straight up, you're going to get juice in here. And for some reason, it works its way in between the sleeve and the tank and you'll get like condensation and a little leaking around the base of the sleeve. Um, it can be a little bit better designed, I guess, but I just got it the other day. So far, I'm not too thrilled about it, but it is what it is. The other device I got, I don't even know the name of it, um, but it is 
another device that I picked up from a co-op. It's a 14500 device. Um, actually has an air control ring right here. Which is kind of nice. I like it. There's the 510 connector. And then there's like a little air hole right there. And this little uh, stainless ring goes over it. And with oh. the Penelope on it, it's perfectly the same diameter and it does have a nice gloss to it the one thing about the switch it's one of those switches that you unscrew and then you fire in and it's a 14500 i mean i like it i've been i've been enjoying this device i kind of like 14500 devices uh, i'm still looking for a good 14500 hybrid I think I'm gonna pick up the novice. But I kinda like this device. Um, what is the name of this? I can't remember the name. Let me tell you the name right now. What the hell is the name of this? I'm gonna. I, I don't know why I didn't know the name of this. Come on. Oh, the spirit. <laughs> there it is. It's the spirit. Come on, why is this thing doing this to me? My camera's a piece of shit. So it's the spirit. And, I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. What else did I get? I think that's all I got for vape mail this week. Um, the Elite did come with a nice little case. It's a nice little touch. Um, came with a little piece of mesh and a little wire, which is pretty cool. And a replacement plastic tank. They should have just, if they're going to send you two polycarbonate tanks, tanks they should have just sent you one glass tank and just been done with it. It would have been a lot easier. Um, and in my opinion, it would have vaped a lot nicer. But it is what it is. That's, that's, I can't tell them what to sell. But that's my opinion. Um, you know that you really need to go and research other reviewers and see what they're saying about it. Because there's a few other reviewers that gave this a raving, raving review. Um, I didn't see it. Uh, I like hybrids. This is not my first hybrid. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Sidewinder, ten. I got ten hybrids. So, oh, eleven. The Noble, too. Um, and this, so that's 12. I have 12 hybrids. Um, I think my opinion is a little bit accurate. So, I mean, but for me, you know, that's for me. Um, all right, so what do we have going on, folks? We do have a, 
Oh shit, I forgot to tell everybody. Tonight is, or was, at 7 o'clock, was the opening of the list for the Caravella. The Caravella's list opened up tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for um, 65 places. And then the list will open up open up one more time at 12 o'clock noon uh, Portugal time for another 65 spaces so if you are looking to get on to a Caravella list um, you will have to have been a Caravella form member and try to get on the list vaping Cisco the pure I hybrid I am jealous because I really want one vaping Dave who are you talking to are you talking to me or are you talking to uh, vaping Cisco Cisco send it to me I want to review it no, I'm going to get one. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'll probably pick one up next week. I'm glad you're enjoying it because I really want one. Um, yes, I actually tell you the truth. I have a ceramic wick that I was using right right here I just took out of my one Zenesis here's a ceramic wick right here that I just took out of one of my Zenesis devices um what kind of um what are you asking for anyone use steel wick yet I love the steel wick Oh, Cisco, you know I would send it back a couple weeks later. <laughs> no, I'm going to get one, my friend. <laughs> I don't know if it's really as good as people are saying it is. I might not send it back. I might just send you a check for $100 so you can go buy another one. <laughs> Um, I think the, um, did you get the Omega clone yet? I did not get one yet. I keep on saying I'm going to go pick one up, and I have not got one yet. Um, I hybrids are a nice vape. I have my Sugar Skull right here. Um, I love my I hybrid Sugar Skull. It is a nice device. I just wish the skull was a little bit darker or brighter more prominent I wish it was um, I'm gonna put a, this battery on a charge I always do that what I do is I vape it until the battery starts going dead and then I forget to take it out to charge it and I put it back over here and I don't vape it for a few days and then when I go to pick it up, it's dead. The Pure is my first iHybrid and not the last. Cisco, you are in the right area. iHybrids are great devices. For tanks, does thinner juice wick better? Joey vapes. Yes, thinner juice does tend to vape a little bit or wick a little bit better depending on your setup. If you're using a Cardo tank, yes, thinner juice does wick better. Um, but you can get thicker juices to wick just as good by drilling or punching another hole or making it a little bit wider, bigger. So thicker juice does uh, wick just as good. <clears throat> I think stainless steel wicks are the best, cleanest 
taster is. I like the stainless steel cable or wire. I don't know how you're, what people are calling it. But like the Nextel wire or wick, I think it's a great vape. Um, I have one in my... Where do I have it? Where do I have it? Where is that device? Without knocking anything over, I'm going to pick it up. Yes. In my Sturm Pandora on the Sturm, which is a 14500 device. Yeah, I've never tried running the Pro Tank with a. I've never tried running the Pro Tank with SS cable. But I'm sure it could work. Anything can work, and that's the truth. I'm gonna charge this 14650 battery right now. But it needs a spacer because there we go. Okay. Let me grab my headset, put it back in. And then we'll move on. Um, just use good batteries like AW batteries. Yes, a um, hybrid device does not have any circuitry, which I like um, because I can change the resistance and not worry about having protection shut it off but on the opposite side you have no protection to protect you so you need to be a little bit smarter than the device a little bit smarter than um a lot of the people building 0.3 ohm coils on a battery that will not support that amperage and when you fire it, your button is getting hot. It's because the battery is overworking. So you really need to be careful. Um, I don't know. You, you just need to be careful if you are messing with um, sub-ohms and stuff. Just look into it. Try to study it. Um, try to learn it. Don't just do what everyone else is doing. They might have a little bit more... Um, knowledge than you and they may do something that you're not doing all right folks uh first off i want to just let everybody know that the giveaway for the gg ithaca is coming to an end um there's two more days left on this um i'm gonna put a link in the room for you to join that give oh i'm sorry oh damn it there was one of my videos playing okay so here's the link to the gg ithaca video <clears throat> giveaway here's the link folks there it is get over to that video make sure you are a subscriber for my youtube channel and make sure you comment on the video in the comment section of the youtube video and you will be in to win a GG Ithaca, which is right here. Brand new, still in the package. It is not a clone of the Ithaca. It is the real deal, $200 device. I don't care what you do with it. I would like you to vape on it, but if you sell it, you sell it. That's awesome. Um, just make sure you watch that link that I just put in there. All right. So, uh, don't tell me that. I need a nemesis right now. I just don't have the money. I wish I did. All right. Um, 
Let's do a giveaway. I think that's what we should do. That's what we should do. We should do a giveaway. Correct? Is Chunkmeister in the hizzy? <laughs> I don't talk like that, so I apologize, folks. Okay. Let me get my screen set up here. Chunkmeister, send me the damn name. <laughs> Oh shit, Chunk. You're alright, Chunk. Alright, folks. We are almost there. I'm waiting for the names from Chunk. And I think he just sent it to me. He did. So if you are logged into the room under Justin, if you if we are seeing your post right now, your name will be into this. I'm opening the names and I'm going to be putting them in the random.org generator. Here they go. And randomize it in one minute but I'm gonna tell you what you're playing for first you folks are playing for it why is that look small wait a minute here okay there we go all right so what we're gonna be playing for you can see the J rep down in the corner there um, we're going to be playing for a J-Rap rap. I'm going to be talking just real quick about J-Raps. Alan, I don't know if he's in the room right now, but if you are, he is a very, very... Whose birthday? Vic! I didn't know it was your birthday. Why didn't you tell me? Happy birthday, my friend. I would have came over and shared some of your cake with you. <laughs> I'll talk about Vic in a minute. But for Alan over at J-Raps... Um, for those of you that know, I stand behind Alan and J-Raps 100%. I think they are one of the most, they're one of the nicest things you can put on a device. Um, here's a, an Orion with a J-Rap on there. Okay. Um, I have a few devices over here. My SVD, SVD, not STD. My SVD has um, a gray carbon fiber, uh, and I love, I love this this wrap on this device. It looks so awesome. It looks really nice. But folks, if you are looking for a wrap for your device and you are looking to buy something from a stellar vendor, check out J Wraps. You cannot go wrong. I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong with J Raps Raps. Um, all right, well, I'm going to give you a chance to win one. And the lucky winner of a J Rap is Vapor Lady Lounge. Vapor Lady Lounge, congratulations. You are the winner of a J Rap over at jraps.com. So congratulations. What you need to do is go to You need to go to jraps.com. There's a link right there. Uh, and check out the wraps and find a device that you have and a cool wrap that you want 
and send me the information. My email is right up there in the corner, rawsanders13 at gmail.com. And send me the information. Send me what device, what wrap, and your shipping information. And I will get that over to Alon over at jwraps.com. Folks, if you are looking at jwraps and looking for one of those awesome, awesome stands that he is selling over there, I think you are foolish not to pick one up. If you're considering buying a stand, get over there. He has awesome deals and awesome wraps. And right now, he is running a 15% off discount. Last week, it was Ross 15 for the 15% discount. And this week, holy shit, it's Chunk 15 for a 15% discount. That is awesome. Awesome. So you got the, the, the stand? That is so cool. That is so cool, Tippy. That is so cool. That's awesome. Um, have you received it yet? Um, I ordered a J wrap on the 24th of June. Still haven't seen it. Be patient on shipping. Um, Lax, Wisconsin. Uh, did you talk to them? Because I would find out you may your rap may have gotten lost. Um, you need to contact Alan. I'm gonna give you an email. Give me one second. So what you need to do is you need to email Alan at this email address. I just put it in there under Junkie Rock. It's admin at jraps.com. Email him and tell him that you should... <laughs> That should have never, ever taken that long. That got lost. I, I really, really... And tell him that I sent you. Tell him that you were talking to Junkie on his show. And that um, it should have never taken that long. It really shouldn't have. Uh, he'll take care of that right away. You should have gotten that within the week. It doesn't take that long for shipping from him. I know sometimes on things that you win from my show, they do take a long time sometimes. Sometimes they take a couple weeks. But that's only because um, it takes me like a couple days to get him the information. Because sometimes I wait for everybody to send me their emails. And some people don't send me their emails right away. So I wait to send them out. And I usually don't send them out until like Monday morning. And then by like... You know, Wednesday he usually sends them out, but sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, where is? There he is, Alan, my friend. What's up, Alan? Lax, Wisconsin, ordered a wrap from you on June twenty fourth, and has not seen it. I just gave him your admin at jraps.com email address, and he's going to be contacting you tonight. Or she. I don't know if to he or she. I'm sorry. They're going to be contacting you. Um, I told them it should have never taken... It's a he. I'm sorry. Okay. Good. <laughs> but um, he's going to be contacting you. That's not... That should have never happened. So it might have gotten lost. Uh... But it's okay. Yeah, that's what I said. That's too long. <laughs> and he's going to send you a free run. Okay? So make sure you contact him. You should have contacted him a while ago. It should have never taken that long. Yes, customer service at jraps.com is stellar. You can't go wrong there. Okay. Um, 
do you do international giveaways? You know something? I never say that I can't do international giveaways. So depending on if the vendor says no, um, I don't, but I've never not said it. Um, a couple times, a couple vendors say no, and I will let you know, but I usually do give, I do worldwide giveaways. And Alon does worldwide giveaways, so I, I don't care where you are. I know he sent a couple to, like, uh, uh, Norway and, and Ireland, so it's not that big of a deal. Might cost a little bit more to send it, but it's not a big deal. All right, so I'm going to give another um, j rap away. Um, Chunk, can you give me the list one more time, my friend? Okay, I have the new list, and I'm going to give away another j Wrap. Let me bring this back here, reset the form, open the file for the names. The names are going in, and we are randomizing, and the winner is Wrecker75. Wrecker 75. Congratulations, Wrecker. <laughs> Very cool. You just won yourself a J Rap from JRaps.com. One of the most awesome. Very cool pieces of vape mail that you will get. I will let you know that. Because once it comes in, it's like getting a brand new device. It really is. <laughs> Yes, except no clones. J Raps cannot be cloned. Often impl <laughs> often imitated, never duplicated. J Raps. The original. All right, so what you need to do, yes, they are the um, codes can be used for the stands and the wraps. So, um, yes, you got to wrap it. <laughs> Go and record, get over there, pick out a wrap and send me the information. And I will um, get that information over to Alon, okay? I have a couple more um, giveaways for J Raps. I'm gonna do a little bit later in the second half of the show. <clears throat> and I am gonna go to the original screen here. All right, I want to thank Alon because Alon has been such an awesome vendor and he really does come through with a lot. Every week we have giveaways from J Raps. Um, and I'll tell you what, even if he doesn't do a giveaway on my show, I still pimp out jraps.com. And I, I will tell you the truth if I ever, ever become a vendor in the vaping community I would J wraps will be one of the first accessories that I would carry on my shelves um, by all means well, 
So, last week, towards the end of the show, on my show last week, we were talking... I was going to talk about that. J-Raps is giving away 40 devices, tanks, stands this month. Um, that is fucking awesome. <laughs> that is sick. 40 devices. <clears throat> Wrecker, pick anything out you want. Anything you want, Wrecker. Anything except custom. You can't get a custom. I'm going to be giving a custom wrap away later on on the show. But if you want a carbon fiber, pick it out. If you want that, if you want an ostrich, pick it out. Texture, whatever you want. Alon, how can people win one of them 40 devices that you're giving away? Alon, can you put a link in the room for where we're going to be able to win them? <clears throat> Squeaky, clean, and fungus free. Nice. I like that. All right, so I was talking about vaping Vic. So last week, Vic says, you know, we come to find out 15 minutes before the show was over, Vic lives three streets away from me. Literally three streets away from me. Shit you not. Okay, so he says, um, you know, he's going to, we're going to hook up. So the next day he comes over, knocks on my door, and there's Vic with a bottle of juice. He's like, hey, what's up, buddy? I was like, come on in. So we hung around and shot the shit for a little while. Nice guy. Um, we sat around and talked. And they've been fixed very cool. <clears throat> and Vape and Vic definitely does make some decent juice. I will like to add that. Um... Stay tuned. There might be something special coming from Vape and Vic. <clears throat> yes, Chunk. Chunk, you never told me that Vic makes some good juice. That's awesome. Um, I do, SB. Wait a minute. Let me just show tell you. Wait a minute. I'll tell you right now. Oh, this isn't the show. Damn it. Damn it. I thought I was playing a different show. Uh, Cassidy and he's gone. Cassidy and he's gone tonight, buddy. I had a different show that I was li uh, that I was listening to, and it w and it had a a killer Stella Blue. So, folks, um, Vape Vixen, hello. Yeah, Stella is nice. Stella's great. <laughs> I love Stella Blue. I will only go commercial on juice if Junkie Rock gets a B&M shop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> you never know, Vic. 
There's always, there's always plans for better ideas in the future. Who knows? Anything's possible. Junk wouldn't be in the name. <laughs> well, a B&M doesn't mean that there wouldn't be a, 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 a website either. I mean, there probably be, would, would be a website as well. So you would be able to... Um, come visit the junk shop, but it wouldn't be the junk shop, okay? Mm. All right, so folks, um, there was a video on <laughs> there was a video on. Fox Business, and I don't know if you folks caught it. I'm gonna play it for you. So give me a second. Okay. Alright, um, let me try to find this video. Okay, let me get this set up, folks, and I will. Okay, folks, I am going to pause this music for one minute, and I am going to play this video for you folks, okay? Um, so, I hope you enjoy this video. This video was on Fox Business. Spike, the owner of Vape New York, um, was on Fox Business and was talking about vaping. I do have a link on my Facebook to this video, and I will post a link to this in the room, but here is the video right now. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's a pretty decent video. Here we go, folks. Before we introduce you to our next guest, want to let you know market is down right now 52 points, but one of the things that's hot that everyone's talking about, it's called vaping e-cigarettes and joining us right now is a woman who's just opened manhattan's first e-cigarette store tell us about this and welcome by the way hi how are you my name is spike i run vape new york advanced electronic cigarette company and you brought one with you i did i brought a couple oh okay. my goodness they're actually attractive to look at um, some of them are very pretty and they have little designs they you, can be customized you customize <laughs> bottom line for smokers do you get the same buzz off of this as you would a regular cigarette um well 
you know, it's a different kind of feeling. You're feeling the same hit of like you're smoking a cigarette and you're getting your nicotine delivery, but it's in a more efficient and cleaner way. So what does that mean then for the whole cigarette culture, the bars, the nightlife, the whole thing? I mean, are people actually using these, pulling them out of their pocketbooks or? They do use them in bars. I'm one of the biggest problems with the bar owners is that they lost a lot of customers who had to step outside to smoke a cigarette. Um, and that is not the case anymore because this don't make any smoke. They make steam. So, so, I mean, there is legislation going on right now to prevent use of those indoors, right? In New York, is that going to be a tried. problem? Could they've it tried. Um, could it hurt our business? I don't think it will pass because scientifically there's no justification for it. Well, the, the FDA, I think, has put out warnings about this stuff, but again, there isn't really any research as of yet. The, but you're, it's nicotine, which isn't essentially good for you. Well, the FDA warnings are based on a 2009 preliminary review. They're not based on an actual scientific published journal study. All of the journal studies that have come out in the last five years show that e-cigarette vapor is not toxic. So. so a pack of cigarettes in New York City costs a lot. I don't know if the top... About $15. Okay. One yeah. of these? $15, yeah. About $1.50 a pack to use. All right. And so you're opening the very first store in Manhattan. Correct. Um, what's the demand been like? What's your traffic like? Um, we have a store in Queens, and we've been people have been waiting for Sorry. a store in Manhattan. Okay. And our Manhattan store, since we've opened about eight days ago, has done a ridiculous well, amount Well, I heard you just took an order for 15000 bucks. That's That was actually a misquote. We placed an order for $15,000, oh, gotcha. um, and it's not arrived well, yet. We're are, almost out of product. Sales of this stuff going to be about a billion dollars in the United States. You wouldn't have opened the store if you didn't think you were going to cash in on this. That's what they say, is that it should hit a billion dollars this year, which I fully expect. The, the numbers of, of growth rate financially is exponential because the number of users is growing exponentially. So people are... One person tells two other people, tells four other people, tells ten other people, and it multiplies so quickly that you can't handle, the supply is not there for the demands. People want them, and they're just becoming harder and harder to get because so many people are buying them. All right. Thank well, you so much. We appreciate it, Spike Babay, and good luck to you. I guess we're going to have to redo all those songs, like Pass the Duce on the left-hand side or whatever it I was. Don't Okay, folks, so there is the video. Um, give me one more second. I have another video that I am pulling up right now. Give me one second, folks. All right, and hey, here MJ is McCarthy. the next you know, video. Being single oh. Has its perks. oh, wait a second. All right, let me just fix this one minute. I just wanted to show this video because it is giving vaping a. Come on. A new name. I'm going to start this over. And here you hey, go. It's only I'm a couple Jenny minutes McCarthy. long. You know, being single has its perks, but when it comes to smoking, smelling like an ashtray is not the ideal aphrodisiac. That's what I love about Blue. When I switched to Blue electronic cigarettes, not only did I feel better about myself, I felt the freedom to have a cigarette without the guilt. With Blue e-cigs, there's no tobacco smoke, only vapor. Now when I go to public places that don't allow smoking, I can whip out my Blue and know that I won't scare any guys away. Blue e-cigs have been an absolute savior for me. I'm envied by every smoker who has to leave the party and go outside and smoke. And let's be honest, there is nothing sexy about going outside in the rain or freezing your butt off just to take a puff. Since introducing the first electronic cigarette pack that recharges your e-cigs, Blue has always been about giving you freedom. Freedom to have a smoke when you want, where you want. Now the folks at Blue have created something even better. They have completely redesigned the starter pack to make every aspect of E6 simple and easy. With this cool new starter pack, I can have a smoke how I want, but without the smell, the ash, or the stink I look from others. The starter pack is in stores nationwide. Just look for the sexy blue display. Wherever you are, blue is close by. Now let's talk about all the new features you get to play with. The pack isn't just a cute carrying case, it also recharges your e-cigarette batteries. Just charge the pack, and you'll always have a fully charged blue. Where can you charge it? The question is, where can't you charge this thing? The new starter pack comes with multiple recharging options for your active lifestyle. 
Everything you need for recharging is now included in the starter pack. The blue starter pack is as slim as a smartphone and as tall as a pack of cigarettes. It comfortably fits wherever you'd normally carry cigarettes, and it even fits in the pockets of the tightest jeans. It's always ready when I am. It's like the smartphone of e-cigs. The blue battery management system ensures maximum performance and ease of use. This thing is sleek, hot, and blue. Blue makes it easier. For me, blue gives me all the fun and none of the guilt of having a cigarette. Blue believes in freedom, your freedom. Pick up the new Blue Starter Pack, available at retailers nationwide. Okay. All right, folks, I have one more ad and then I'm done. I just wanted to show this because I wanted to talk about this. One more, one more, folks. I know it's 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 bad, but one more. <laughs> okay. What the hell's? Oh, come on! Damn it! Okay, folks, this is the other commercial that has been hitting the streets. The airways, I should say. Okay, folks, so that's all I wanted to do was um, show a couple of commercials and a couple of famous people that are behind electronic cigarettes. Now, please, I know blue e-cigs suck balls. I know. And I know a lot of people don't stand behind Enjoys because Enjoy basically is against what we are for they don't like flavored e-liquid they are more along the tobacco and menthol e-liquid and that's it they don't like the uh, cherry and vanilla and all that other shit they are just tobacco flavored but i will say as far as enjoy goes enjoy is cigar babe hello hon how are you um so let me my music i'm sorry let me play my music okay so um enjoy does have that going against them but their enjoy king is a very nice solid vaping device but it is only tobacco or menthol um, I like the Enjoy King though. I really do. It vapes really nice. Um, but I know Enjoy the company is a piece of shit. You know? Anyhow, uh, Blue E Saves can go fuck themselves, but it's awesome exposure for electronic cigarettes. That Jenny McCarthy, um, that Dorf guy, um, there's a lot of publicity. You know, Johnny Depp. Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, they're all vaping. Um, who else? Fucking um, Justin Timberlake. They were all vaping. And that's that's good exposure. Uh, I know Bruno Mars just dropped a big 
chunk of change and for enjoy. Um, so electronic cigarettes is on the rise and I urge everybody out there and I know we're all the people that are in this room are the exception of the people. I know you've probably gotten a couple people starting vaping, um, but you need to have them people have a couple people start vaping. And if we keep it going, this community is going to be 10 times the size it is now next year. And that's what we're looking to do. We need to build it up huge so the FDA and the government can't say shit to us um, because there's just too many in numbers. Um, and that's what we need to do. Just keep it going and keep telling everybody about vaping. Um, try to get at least two people this week to convert to vaping. That's what I always try to do. At least two people a week. Um, I, it, it, it's hard to get one person, but if you can get two people, it's even better. All right, folks. Um, I have a couple more giveaways from J Raps, and I have one from the plume room so i'm gonna do one from the plume room right now give me one second here um so chunk can you send me an updated list my friend Paradise Way. Is Chunk sleeping? I hope he didn't fall asleep. I haven't even been vaping. And there's the list. I have it. I'm saving it and opening it. There it is. Here's all the names. Oh, Nitro's in here. I didn't even see him come in. Hello, Nitro. So here we go, folks. There are the names in the random.org list. And I'm going to randomize in one minute. But this is for... I didn't even put this up. I apologize. This is horrible. Folks, this is for theplumeroom.com. What I'm going to be doing is doing a $20 gift card for theplumeroom.com. Folks, if you are looking for a stellar e-liquid, and you have not tried any of the plumeroom.com's e-liquid, my suggestion to you is to try the lemon chiffon or the candid cavendish. If you like tobacco, the candid cavendish is by far one of the best e-liquids in my opinion. But my favorite e-liquid, not only from the Plum Room, but from anywhere is lemon chiffon. Cigar Babe, Yummy Lemon Chiffon. It is so fucking good. It really is. Um, I know a few people that don't like it, but I have never had a better juice than the Lemon Chiffon. It is my favorite e-liquid. All right, folks. And the winner of a $20 gift card from The Plume Room is... New Garage Huntress. Lemon chicken sucks. <laughs> so new, uh, no wait, new Grange, new Grange, Grangey Huntress. Are you in the room? There you are. All right. Um, make sure you send me an email. All you need to do is send me an email. Make sure you put in the title, in the subject line, uh, winner of the Plume Room gift card. And 
the, my email is up in the corner up here, rossanders13 at gmail.com, and I will send that over to the lovely Andrea from the Plume Room, and she will then send you a code for a $20 gift card. Folks, like I said, the Plume Room really does have some awesome, awesome fucking juice. It really is good. I have not tried the few flavors, the banana mint and the other cherry vanilla. I haven't tried the new ones yet, um, but I will sooner or later. Um, but if you're looking to try something like a lemony vape, but it's not a bitter lemon. It's more like a sweet, creamy lemon. Uh, it's so good. It really is. I actually need to buy a bottle because... Ugh, it's almost gone. It really is. I think there's like about 12, 15 mils left in there. If that, I need to buy some more. I need to pick up another 60 mil bottle of lemon chiffon. It's so fucking good. It really is. All right. <clears throat> Their juice is awesome. You really do have to try it. Okay. So, we're going to do a couple more giveaways. I have two more standard wraps from J Wraps. Um, and then we have a custom wrap. So, you can send in a picture of your dog. Or, if you would like a picture of Aerosmith or the New York Yankees or the Boston Red Sox. I know Cigar Babe is in the room. Um, you can have it. Um, so, you can go, oh, come on, don't, I don't want to see no Boston Red Sox fans coming alive. <laughs> the Yankees, okay? There's only one baseball team, and that's the New York Yankees. Cincinnati Reds! <laughs> Uh, folks, you know what? This week, um, let me just pull up something right here quick. This week, my son actually started um, his clinic for uh, tackle football. And he went through calisthenics all week long and they were doing like a hundred yard sprints and he was running his ass off he's only six years old he's a little guy he did his official weigh-in and his official um uh physical and everything for the first this is his first year playing padded football tackle football so he is so excited i, I think i'm more excited than him but you know, I've always been a fan of the Miami Dolphins, and I love Dan Marino. He was always my favorite player, but my new favorite player is my son. He's the best football player there is. <clears throat> All right. Yes, the Miami Dolphins, the best team. <laughs> Hopefully this year. Maybe this year. All right. Um... All right, so we're gonna do another giveaway from jraps.com. Jraps does have another wrap he's gonna give away. So I'm gonna bother Chunk one more time. Chunk, send me another list. <clears throat> send me one more list, Chunk. This is for another wrap over at jraps.com. Is the list coming? Is the list coming? I think he's sleeping again. No, it's here. Okay, and there's the list. I'm copying it down and putting it in. There it goes, folks. And it is in random.org. 
Come on. And I'm going to hit randomize in one second. Let me pull the screen up. All right, folks. Here is the winner of another J-Rap over at JRaps.com. And their win winner is Rid Dance. Rid Dance X8. Rid Dance X. How do you say that? Rid Dance. Dance X. Sex 8. Riddance. <laughs> I'm such a re good riddance 8. <laughs> oh, I'm such a retard when it comes to reading names. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> I'm so stupid <laughs> alright folks did he, is he in the room are they in the room <laughs> that was so stupid how come I can never read names I'm so bad when it comes to names <laughs> retard I'm not a retard I just can't read names when it looks like that. <laughs> I need gla I have glasses. <laughs> Request line. New Minglewood Blues. Do I have a new Minglewood coming up? I don't think I have one coming up on this show. Oh, no. Ah. Uh. I don't have a new Minglewood coming up on this. Let me see something if I can help him out on this. folks and I am gonna find oh uh, this is 94 that's not gonna be there Okay, I'm going to put this on hold because I am actually going to interrupt for a song for Ripple. Because Ripple never asks for anything from me. No, SB, I'm going to go right back to right where it was. Just this one song. Okay, Ripple. folks so I am gonna do one more giveaway yes I know SB but I can't play it too loud then everybody's gonna be crying it's too loud um I like disco biscuits but I always play the dead um I'm sorry 
I would like to play some Disco Biscuits. I'd like to play some Fish, but I always play Car Machine. What's up, my friend? Very nice, Ripple. It is a dead show. <laughs> all dead, all the time. Thank you, Cigar Babe. <laughs> Some scissor aims. No, the dead don't have thousands of th songs. They have a lot of songs. Chunky's dead too. <laughs> Government Mule, I like Government Mule. Uh, Warren, I've seen Warren tons of times. I've actually seen him play a lot of times with um, with the Dead. I've seen him play tons of times with the Almonds and Government Mule. I like Warren. Warren's awesome. Um, let me do one more giveaway here for another J Rap. Um, Chunk. Would you mind if you send me one more name list, please? Because there have been a few people joining and a few people leaving. Here's the list coming in. Here is another J rap. I'm going to hit randomize, and the winner of another J rap is Nemesis 256. shit it's fixed I didn't even try <laughs> yo I can copy the name now <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> oh shit so nemesis 256 go to jraps.com I'm, so I'm sorry junk <laughs> they fixed it so it works now Yeah, you, know, you know what it is? It's all my younger days, how I partied so hard. Too many dead shows in my days. Well, or not enough. Um, I'm, I'm going with not enough, but somebody will tell me that it's too many. Did 
Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes, Junk. You you could have slept for the past two hours. <laughs> That really is one of the better New Mango Woods. You're welcome, Ripple. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be back into... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now let me lower it down. I know this one's a little bit higher. Alright, so we're back to Slipknot, into Franklin's Tower, and then Men Smarter. So Ripple, I hope you enjoyed that. Yes, definitely a nice version of Manglewood. Um, I'm hoping I'm at least converting some people into liking and enjoying some Grateful Dead music. Maybe some have never heard it. Um, and for those that have ha that have heard it, um, maybe they're re-enjoying it or bringing back some nice days of. Absolutely, in my opinion, it is the best band, but you know. A lot of people will not agree, but I, I, I enjoy it. And the name of the show is called Gratefully Dedicated Vaping, so. <laughs> Twisted. <laughs> the only song I know is from the 80s. <laughs> Something Gray. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, but the yellow snow is the best snow. <laughs> CD. <laughs> Shades of gray. It's touch of gray. So I got about 20 more minutes. Um, folks, you really need to, uh, like I said last week, pay attention to good vendors. Stay away from shitty vendors. Um, and there's a lot of them coming out now, especially with all of the rush that everybody, every vapor wants to open up a website and sell electronic cigarettes because they see vendors or they think vendors are getting rich um, and that's that's okay if that's what they're 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 thinking but a lot of these people that are becoming vendors are not doing it for the right reasons and they are um, uh, not not being the best vapor or best vendors um yes i am looking at the ham mod um i want to get in on one of them ham mods i was thinking about it and that device is fucking huge a 10 mil tank that thing is great um that's gonna be a big ass mod and yeah 26 650 is a big ass battery. This is a big ass battery. Here's a 26650 right here. 
Um, yeah, but I can vape. I can vape um, 10 mils in two days. So, I mean, I won't fill it up. I'll probably put like 8 mils in it, 9 mils, but I can vape that in two days. So, I mean, it's not that bad. Um, yes, at Jailbird Mods, yes, check it out. But stay away from the, the shitty vendors. There's too many of them coming out, and there's so many of them popping up. Um, uh, you'll, you'll find out that they're shitty real quick. And for those of you folks that made it to the Caravella list tonight... Um, oh, shit, I didn't play Payout. Damn it. Okay. The Caravella list was opened up at 7 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. Um, it was... What's a Caravella list? Well, a Caravella is a device that everybody has been trying to get for a long time. But if you are one of the lucky ones that made it to the list and got on the list, there was only 65 devices up. Um, there is another 65 devices that will go up at 12 o'clock noon uh, Portugal time. You must be a member on the Caravella forum to be able to get on the list. So if you're not a member, you're not going to be able to be a member because the list to be a member was closed. Um, Cigar Babe is a new owner of a Caravella. Uh, a very nice one, I might add. A brass one. Um, yeah, I'm not impressed with the Caravella clone either. But as for the Caravella, um, it's a whole different device. Car Machine, try to get on there, 12 o'clock noon, Portugal time. <clears throat> All right, folks. It is 9.46. I'm going to do my last giveaway of the evening. This giveaway, Chunk, I don't need you to get the list because I'm going to get it myself. This is for um, a custom-made J-Rap. So whatever you would like on your J-Rap, you can have it. You want a picture of your dog, you want a picture of your husband or your wife, or a picture of Jerry Garcia. Come on. All right, so here goes the names. I put all the names into random.org. I'm taking out my name. And I'm taking out the word viewers. And the lucky winner of the last giveaway of the evening for Gratefully Dedicated Vaping is TJ Hook 42. TJ Hook 42, my friend. Congratulations, TJ. So, TJ, what you won was a custom J wrap for any device of your choosing. Uh, what you were going to do is go over to jwraps.com. If you pick out a wrap that they already have made up, you can pick out one of them. But you have the choice of winning or a custom wrap. Um, 
you can send him a picture and he will customize that wrap and send it to you. What you need to do is send me your shipping information and I will get that over to Alon. <clears throat> So that are that is the giveaways for this evening. Uh, there are more giveaways over on the next show, Mod Envy. Getting the Atom Mod. Anybody ever heard of it? it yeah, I, I've, I've heard of the Atom Mod. It's a very nice mod. Um, which one are you getting? Are you getting the gold one? getting the atom mod from what what vendor are you buying it for oh silver and gold okay what's up mount pockets folks i'm gonna put in for the oh no 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 damn it i did not want that to happen I'm going to put in one more time for the evening a link to the GG Ithaca giveaway. Folks, I just put a link in, that YouTube video link right there. I will put it in one more time. That link right there. Oh shit. Damn it. There's the link for the GG Ithaca giveaway that I am doing on YouTube. Here is a brand new GG Ithaca that I'm giving away to one of my viewers on YouTube. So make sure you get over to that video, follow the directions to um, get in the giveaway. What you need to do is be a subscriber to my YouTube channel and comment on the video for uh, that link. I'm also giving away a D-Box A brand new D box pure tank on YouTube so make sure you check out that video as well and be a subscriber and comment on the video as that one too <clears throat> oh you know what I wanted to show you guys so you folks know that I had to put down my hug a couple weeks ago and just the other day, um, we got this um, after we put her down. We had ordered this when we uh, had her put down. It came in a nice little box. Um, it says, Girly Girl Sanders. Then we opened it up. And it was in here. And it actually has her name on It's like ceramic. And it has her date. It says girly girl on it. And it says her date of when she was born. 
the year she was born and the date of her her death and on the other side it has her paw print um, I loved it I, I think it's such an awesome thing and then they actually they cut a lock of her hair and gave us a lock of her hair as well. I haven't put it in anything yet, but um, I'm going to do something really nice with it. But I missed a little shit. But she was here and spent a long time with me. She was a very good dog. Yes, time will heal. Okay. All right, folks. Um, we have six more minutes. Nova Broadcasting will be coming up with Mod Envy, the biggest show on the Vaping Nef Network. Yes, we will never forget them. Oh, shit. It never gets easier, though. I just wish um, they would never leave us. Pets suck because they're, they're always around with us and, and, and they're just gone. Yes, dogs do not live long enough. They don't. Alright folks, I want to thank Alon from J Raps for his awesome giveaways tonight. Congratulations to the winner. I want to thank you all for coming out tonight. I really do appreciate you all for coming out. And I want to thank Andrea from the Plume Room for her very cool $20 gift card giveaway. Congratulations to the winner of that. Um, I will get all that information over to um, the vendors and they will contact you or send them to you. Um, thank you very much. And yes, our sponsors are very great. Not just for my show, but for all the shows here on Nova. I want to thank all the sponsors. Um, there's a lot of great companies that sponsor all of these shows and that, that's great. <clears throat> New Vapor, very cool. Congratulations. How long have you been vaping, New Vapor? Yes, thank you, Ripple. That'd be great for you to check out our shows. It's always nice for you to come in. Yeah, SB, this... I've always liked Franklin, though, because it's always a nice jam. It's a good jam. It's a Jerry jam.
All right, folks, I'm going to be closing the show with one of my favorite Grateful Dead songs of all time. It is called He's Gone. Um, it's a great, great song. Um, thank you all for coming in. I am going to be leaving you. Um, happy birthday to Jerry Garcia. And he will always be remembered. Oh,